Hello, I'm Shada Lambert, also known as Nanny Shard, and today I'll be reading this book, Doggy and the Christmas Badge. It's Christmas at the clubhouse. Doggy and the squirrels are merrily singing a Christmassy song when the doorbell rings. Who will it be? I wonder who it could be. Ding dong! It's Doggy's old friend Clarence. You haven't changed a bit, says Clarence grumpily. And who are you, he asks the squirrels. Oh, he doesn't seem to be happy, does he? <laughs> We're the squirrels, they say. We're getting ready for Christmas, says Nori and Happy. It's so exciting, shouts Roly. Clarence doesn't sound so sure. Do you think so, really? Dougie thinks Clarence needs a bit of help to get in the Christmas spirit. So do I, actually, do you? <laughs> Would you like a mint pie, arts tag? Not for me, thank you. They taste so samey after the first three million, replies Clarence. Three million mint pies? That's a lot of mint pies. Could we tempt you with Dougie's festive fruit cup, arts happy? I suppose it might help get me through the Christmas holiday, Clarence sighs. But this is the best time of the year, cries Nori. I used to think that. I would spend all year getting ready. It was hard work, but I loved it. Then people started wanting everything bigger, louder and faster. And it just didn't feel magical anymore. Who oh no, he's a bit upset. Poor Clarence. He's lost his Christmas cheer, says Nori. We need to help him find it. By making him an extra special Christmas, says Betty. But how? Hmm, I wonder, do you have any ideas? Ah, woof! Dougie knows because he has his Christmas badge. Yay! Cheer the squirrels. Oh, the squirrels are really lovely, aren't they? They've got really good positive energy. First, everyone has a think. Hmm. What are their favourite things about Christmas? What are your favourite things about Christmas? Dougie's favourite thing about Christmas is the surprises. I love Christmas hats. Happy, says Happy, last year I made a hat for Eric. I love Christmas crackers, says Betty. My granddad makes his own. They make a really loud bang. I love Christmas songs, says Tag. My auntie plays the piano and we all sing. I love Christmas food, says Nori. I make a huge gingerbread house with my brothers and sisters while Dad makes the Christmas curry. And at my house, says Rolly, we play Find the Christmas Potato. Rolly, where's my potato? The squirrels get busy, hoping they can help Clarence get back his Christmas cheer. They get out the tree decorations. Ooh, how exciting. Make hats for everyone and crackers. Build a gingerbread house, hang up the stockings, wrap presents and find a good place to hide a potato. Where do you think it's a really good place to hide a potato? I think maybe underneath the bed. Or maybe in the Christmas pudding. <laughs> Meanwhile, Dougie is very busy in the kitchen. Clarence relaxes and chats to Enid. Isn't it nice, Enid, he says, having little helpers. Finally, the tree is finished. It looks amazing, says the squirrels. Ah, woof! And Dougie's flaming nut roast is ready to eat. Mmm, it's time for the clubhouse Christmas feast. The table is crowded with delicious food and everyone is very happy. Even Clarence. This is marvellous, Ignit, he says. Dougie and the squirrels have reminded Clarence that it's the little things that make Christmas special. I agree with you. Thanks for sharing this with me. It's time for Clarence to go. He has lots to do. Everyone waves goodbye. Say bye. Why is Clarence climbing up the chimney? Asks Betty. As Clarence flies away in his sleigh, they start to wonder. Could Clarence be? I wonder. Dougie, it's time to give the squirrels a present. They're Christmas badges. Ah, woof. Now there's just, there's just time for one more thing before the squirrels go home. A doggy hug. <laughs> Happy Christmas, Dougie.
Dougie. And that was Dougie and the Christmas Badge.